Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can turn on Secure Boot and TPM 2.0 MSI Click BIOS 5 on Windows 11. So, first, you need to restart your computer. So, here I'm going to click on the Windows button and then click on the Power button and choose Restart. Then, on your keyboard, press on the Delete button continuously so that you can go into the BIOS menu okay so press on the delete button here continuously okay once you're in the BIOS menu click on settings so click on the settings over here and sorry now you want to click on security and if you want to turn on trusted computing you go to security device support and you click on that and then you click on enabled okay this is to turn on tpm 2.0 and you can see here if i go to device select over here it got tpm 1.2 and TPM 2.0 okay so that's how you can turn on TPM okay after you have turned on TPM click back on settings over here go back into settings and then click on advanced click on advanced in here and then you want to go down and click on Windows OS configuration next we're going to click on Windows 10 WHQL support so we click on that and you want to change it to UEFI so select that okay after that you can see secure boot will become visible if you select the other options you can see the secure boot does not show so you want to choose UEFI and then choose secure boot now once you choose secure boot you can see there is secure boot support and then you got secure boot mode. If you choose this one here, it's uh, and choose enable. It says that secure boot can only be enabled when system in user mode repeat operation after enrolling platform key. Okay, so we're going to click on OK. What you want to do now is to click on secure boot mode. So we're going to click on that and then click on custom. Okay, and then you click on back to standard and it's install factory defaults press yes to proceed so we're going to click on yes okay and then in here now you should be able to choose enable okay so say disable the cms in setup repeat up uh, operation after we boot to ensure uefi video driver is operational so we click on okay okay so after changing the boot mode to select we're going to need to restart the computer and then we're going to need to go back into the bios so I'm going to click on the close button at the top here and then click on yes and then we'll go back into BIOS again All right, after that by pressing on the delete key here okay after we're starting we're starting the computer click on settings then click on boot and then sorry not boot so you want to click on advanced and then windows os configuration and then click on secure boot and then you want to click on secure boot support and click on enable okay so click on enabled and then we're going to close it so click on the close button then click on the yes button and that's it okay so now you have turned on TPM 2.0 with secure boot turn on so if you are playing games, now you should be able to play game after that. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.